First at 10, a school district and union leaders address a contract battle during tonight's school board meeting. Negotiations for a new teachers union contract have been going on for a year in the Trotwood Madison School District. Two News reporter Allison Gens joins us live in the studio digging deeper into what it's going to take to get this contract done. Allison. John Brooke, the Troutwood Madison Education Association and district leaders have gone to the table 38 times. Even a federal mediator was called in and still no agreement. Teachers stood outside of Westbrook Village Elementary School in Trotwood Thursday morning. A walk in demonstration for the teachers union that's been without a new contract since the summer. We just want to have acceptable working conditions and um, so that we can continue to come every day and give it our all and continue to work for kids. Trotwood Madison Education Association President Angela Bruno says without a contract, the district is left with unfilled positions and it's taking a mental toll on teachers and staff. It's hard. There is a lot of anxiety. There is a lot of stress. During Thursday night's school board meeting, Superintendent Dr. Reva Cosby said she's optimistic the district and union will come to an agreement when they meet in two weeks. I think the board understands that we have to be fiscally responsible. I know that um, TMEA also understands that. So we'll probably have a little give and take on the 17th, but I'm very optimistic that we should walk away with that settled. Bruno says it's hard to be hopeful when this process has dragged on for so long, but she promises Trotwood Madison teachers will continue to meet the needs of their students. We just continue to work every day, covering where we need to cover, um, providing where we need to provide so that they are um, given the, the appropriate educational experience. The union voted down the school board's last contract and submitted a new proposal last month. That proposal will be the topic of discussion when district and union leaders come to the table for the 39th time on March 17th. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News.